Welcome to Turning and Burning, number one channel, all things blue collar. As you can see today, I brought Scarlet into the shop. 2004 Chevy 2500. You can see I put some new headlights on here. I got some new tail lights. Been upgrading her little by little. And if you've watched other videos, I did a walk around this truck and I showed you this is my budget build. And as you can see, I have these old bumpers on here. I've been wanting to replace these bumpers for the longest time. I'm not a huge fan of these big, huge black chrome gray bumpers that they put on these Chevys. Uh, I love everything about these trucks but the bumpers. And I've been looking into bumper options. And all the bumpers I wanted to get the front and the back was going to cost me more than what I actually paid for the truck. So I got online, I was looking around. A buddy told me about it and I saw on Instagram and I saw these bumpers. I'm gonna show you over here what I purchased. I purchased this bumper kit from Move Bumpers. You can see right here how the pieces all come already broke, cut, broke, ready to go. You have everything that you need, your brackets and all that stuff. And today I'm gonna to be concentrating on getting the front bumper on old scarlet right here so enough with all the talking i want to get into this video i want to show you uh, how this works i've never done one of these before i built bumpers in the past but nothing like this uh, for the cost of this uh, it's pretty inexpensive to uh have a bumper a replacement that's going to look just as good as any other and uh just let's jump into this video i want to show you how long it's going to take to do this how to get everything tacked together and welded and painted and all that stuff so let's jump in let's start working on this bumper before you get started doing the front bumper on an 03 all the way up to an 07 i'm obviously doing an 04 you're gonna need uh something to weld with a welding machine of some sort mig tig stick whatever you feel like doing uh, maybe some channel locks uh some vice grips i mean i i used just a little bit you will need an 18 and a 15 millimeter. You can use impact if you want. I just use a ratchet, something to mark with, and a tape measure, and uh, also a grinder. That's pretty much all the things that you're going to need to put this move bumper on. All right, let me recap real quick what I took off. That's the first time I've ever taken one of these bumpers off. That took me about 20 minutes approximately. And the only reason why is because I couldn't figure out this bolt up top. But you take those two brackets loose from right here, and then you have your two bolts here, which looking back, I don't know if those really, those didn't really need to come off. So do not do what I said. Do not take those off. All you gotta do is take that top one off. So. It could probably be done in about 10 minutes. Take the brackets off, take that top one off, and it comes right out of there. So step one takes about 15 minutes pulling the bumper off. Once those are out, the hook slides right out. All right, the next step is go ahead and put the brackets on. Make sure you keep all your hardware. And this is where I ran into my first snag when I pulled the tow hooks out of there. The tow hooks, as you can see, and if you have the same kind of truck, the tow hook, they're threaded on the inside. So make sure before you do this, you have the proper nuts. Luckily I have some that will work and will go on there. But if you're doing a truck that's an 04, uh, anything similar to this, you're gonna get these top brackets and they come with, this thing comes with uh, pretty decent instruction manuals, mainly just pictures, but you're gonna put this angle that's bent, make sure flat side's facing out on, let me roll over here on both sides. And then right here, you have this piece that is in two pieces, which is gonna bolt, and I'll show you here in a second, up underneath there, like this. That's gonna go right here where your tow hook was. So you're gonna bolt this up, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go about halfway because it's slotted or it can go back and forth. I'm gonna go about halfway. I'm gonna square this up. I'm not sure where it's gonna go once it's tacked in there, but so I'm gonna go about halfway. And then these, you will bolt on. This is the longer side, goes on the inside. 
and it's gonna bolt on and then this one and then as you can see these will come together like a jigsaw and those will get tacked up I'm not gonna tack that until I get everything tacked up in place so I'm gonna go ahead and work on this get all this together and then uh, move on to the next step the braces in place I just kind of guessed I went four and three quarters inches off this way squared it up these I just went ahead and pushed them all the way up to where they're tight and I know that they're gonna need to be adjusted a little bit so these are just kind of in place mocked up and then next step what I went ahead and did was I found center of the truck right here and on the bumper I found center and made me a little center line that way I have a good starting point so I'm trying to keep a good estimate on time how long it's taking it's taking me a little bit longer than I thought just getting all these in place making sure it fit and I'm struggling picking this up getting it in place and all that stuff because it's just me so what I'm gonna go ahead and do next is I have these pipe stands these jack stands and I found me a little piece of pipe I'm gonna go ahead and tack it across this bumper so I can have an extra set of hands keep it up there and I can get it level like this and kind of make sure everything's good before I start tacking everything in place so I'm gonna go ahead and mock all this up and get it up there and I'll come back about to tack the top pieces right here uh, this is kind of the most important part I think what I did is on these bottom pieces right here these bottom brackets I ended up taking this one loose on the side and getting these where I can get them flush on both sides as you can see right here move get out the way get out the way but uh got these in, in place and then I dropped this down a little bit that way I can get the gap I wanted um, all the way across the same way. That way it's not rubbing with the wind or anything like that. Got everything centered up. And then I went ahead and moved these brackets, adjusted them where I wanted them. And I took a measurement on each side from here to here on each side and got the same thing. That way I know everything is square. And just from looking at it, um, I like it right now. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and tack these up on both sides. Get that tack, see what it looks like, and kind of start moving these out of the way and fitting the other pieces in. Something very important, once you tack it, try to keep that line as level and straight as you want it. Make sure to double check this side because this is where all those bumpers always want to sag down. And if you don't get it in the right spot, it's not going to fit right. So before we tack anything else up, I want to make sure we double check this. Make sure we, we're going to be good. Make sure we're going to have a good gap right there. So I look pretty good. Looks like everything should fit, so I'm going to go ahead and tack up that other side, and then I'll get this piece in. i kind of show you what I mean. Come in here, I tacked it here. I had to gap it out a little bit. I'm going to have a little bit of a gap right here, but that's the only way to get this to where everything is going to be symmetrical. If I just slammed it up against there, or like they said, do not build this off the truck. If I built this off the truck and slammed that up against there, this would have been way up here and it would not have looked right. So right now it's looking pretty good. So I'll go ahead and get this tacked in. As you see, it's a little bit of a gap, but I'm gonna smooth all this out. So next step, tack this, get that piece on there. 
do the same thing over there. All right, she's all tacked up. Make sure these lines came in smooth here. Matched this side with the other side. Need to pull it out just a hair, but I'll do that in welding. Everything's tacked. As you can see, there's a few gaps, but that's just so I could get it where I wanted it. And uh, once it's all smoothed out, it will look pretty good, I think. It's all the way around, looking the same. Very good contour. That's really gonna help. Obviously, we'll have to cut all this once we get it all in place and all that. So I'm gonna go ahead and get it removed so I can get it off to the side and I can start welding it up and everything. Get the original one put on there. That way I'm not driving around with no bumper while I'm out in the town. So I'm gonna pull that off and start welding it. And I'll let you know how long it takes me to weld it out. This probably could take, I would say, you could probably tack all this up in about two hours, especially if you have somebody helping you. You could probably do it quicker uh, if you kind of Kind of, I was messing with the brackets a little bit and kind of getting a little, a little off track and stuff. But I think you could probably do that in about two hours and then weld out. I'm thinking maybe about two hours as well, but we'll see. All right, well, I'm going to pull this thing off and get the other one back on. And I will come back to you while I'm welding. And uh, we'll throw this thing back on before we put some paint on it. All right, before I end the video, I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. I went ahead and I tacked this piece across on both sides. I'll tack it in, that way it won't warp in and out. I'm gonna go through there and uh, if there's any other places that I see, I'm going to put a couple stiffeners in there. And I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna weld the inside and I'm gonna skip around, you know, maybe I'll weld this, come over to the other side, weld this. I'm not gonna weld everything in one spot because I don't want it to warp a whole lot and then once I'm finished welding all that and the other side I'm going to use some flapper disc I got a 40 and then I got 120 we'll see what works the best and I'm going to use those to really polish it up that way you don't see any welds and it's real smooth so I'm going to end this video I'm going to weld this out I don't want to bore you with all the welding or anything like that but that's the basic way how to build the front bumper uh, Right now, I don't really have any complaints. I think it went together really well. The only thing that I'm not too happy with is uh, kind of the way the brackets are put in. I'm not thrilled about that. It's not easy to get in there and tighten these up. This, you can't get in there and get the nut on the side. So I'm gonna have to get a long bolt to go all the way through to the side to tighten it up. And you lose your, your hooks right there, your toe hooks. Um, Kind of bummed about that but i'll figure something out they did supply me with these hooks here but in reality i don't think pulling on a bumper is a good idea i think you really need to pull where those toe hooks are at they're on the frame but i'm gonna bring another video whenever i'm through with this and show you how it turned out all ground down and smooth and looking nice and then I'm going to take it to get powder coated. So there'll be a few more videos on this bumper showing you how it turned out at the very end. And I'm also going to do the rear bumper. Bumper, I can't even talk right now, I'm a little tired. But I do have the rear bumper as well right here. I will do a video on that. So I'm gonna weld this out. Thank you for watching. I hope this helped you out somehow. And hopefully you'll watch the other videos and see how it turns out at the very end because I'm pretty excited to do this and uh, I really step the, the bumper game up on the old four Chevy 2500. All right, well, that's enough uh, rambling on. I'm gonna get to welding. I'm not gonna drag up, but I'm gonna roll on out of here into another day, another video. Just, I don't know, wherever it takes me. All right, guys, peace.